Hey fellow back air boyers, Nick here. Now one of the keys to making a good PVC pipe bow is the material you start out with. A good PVC pipe should have a good amount of impact resistance and it shouldn't be brittle. If the pipe is brittle, chances are that if it ever does fail, instead of folding over, it's more likely to snap or shatter. Now this test I like to call the hammer test and it's a very simple way of figuring out just how impact resistant a piece of pipe is. And this is good for testing out pipe that's been sitting outside for a while or even new pipe if you want to check out to see if maybe the manufacturer you're using has changed their formula or anything like that. So all you need is a hammer and a one to three pound hammer works good for this. And a hard surface, it doesn't have to be an anvil. So you just take your hammer and you give it a good whack. You don't want to hit it too hard because even good PVC pipe will shatter if hit hard enough. You just want to give it a good whack. Brittle pipe won't be able to take this. So here we go. Alright, so the pipe's deformed rather than cracked or shattered. So I'm pretty happy with this. This would make a good bow. And as you see, I'm using just little scrap pieces. So if you have made some pipe, or if you've had made some bows, if you have the leftover pipes lying around, you can test those and see how impact, resist, impact resistant the pipe you used is. So here's another piece. And here we go. Okay, so we'll do that again. Okay, so that is bad. If your piece of PVC pipe does this, it's really brittle and you should consider using another pipe. Now that said, if you use this to make a bow, you'll find that it will work just fine. And some of my best performing bows have been bows that are on the brittle side. But the trade-off is that when they fail, they fail more spectacularly. Now, the benefits of these types of bows don't outweigh the risks. You get a little extra speed, but it's not that much of a gain. And one of the things to keep in mind is that this is usually caused in new pipe by the additives that the manufacturer puts in here. This isn't pure PVC, and plumbing pipe can vary anywhere from about 40% to about 80% PVC, the rest of it being fillers. A lot of the fillers used are chalk and gypsum. So This is furniture grade pipe. I've been using this a lot because it's supposedly 100% PVC. It's got built-in UV resistance and impact resistance. So let's test it out. So, here we go. Now this is really good impact resistance, and I've done all sorts of crazy things with my furniture grade pipe bows. It's a little more expensive, but I've found that for longevity, it's worth it. So, here it is. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see and other questions you have about PVC bows or anything else that I make, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos, be sure to check out my channel, and I've got some links below to some books that I've written if you want to check those out. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.